Hey, hey everyone, how's it going tonight? <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired tonight. Um, hi Billy, hi Mudnut, hi Susan M, hi Susan Z. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing tonight? Look at all my mess. You can see all my mess in the background. What the heck? Brenda B, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome everybody to the show. Um, it was such a beautiful weekend here in Ontario. The sun was shining. It was so nice. And it was so sad that I was at work on Saturday and Sunday because I just wanted to enjoy the nice weather for once in our lives. Um, I don't know where. Tia is. She is fashionably late. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with you guys. I'm always on time. Always on time. And yeah, she she's she's holding me up here. What's going on? She isn't around. So uh, before Tia gets here, well, I wanted to thank her. But I did get my collab pen. I got one of these. And I got my collab pen for uh, Love is in the Air. It's really, really pretty. I got this one. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Sue. How are you? Isn't it? Pretty. That was for Love is in the Air. And then I got, I already took it out because I'm using it. My pen for this collab. Isn't it just gorgeous? Love it. Love, 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 love it. So these are up for grabs on Tia's channel. I also printed four of these trays. These are up for grab as well. They're kind of like trinket trays, but they're 3D printed. So I will be giving one of those away tonight. And whoever wins, they can pick which color they want. Yeah, so that is what's been going on in the story household how has everybody been did you guys have an awesome weekend i worked super super tired <sighs> super tired um saturdays are the big clean at work so that was exhausting and then the girl that runs line seven um she had Asked for the Sunday off, they didn't give it to her, and then she called in sick today. So I had to run line seven with a new machine, and you don't know, but some people know because I sent them a video of my new machine. So, um, yeah, that's what I worked on today. Hi, Jen. Hi, Bling It Up. How are you? Hi, Melinda. I missed you as well. Um, I don't know where she is. Maybe she's on a hot date and she decided to ditch me. I don't know. <laughs> like, I sent her the link and, like, sometimes she ghosts me. Like, I send her stuff and then she doesn't even respond. Like, um, I don't know where she is. Uh, I babysat a three-year-old this weekend and I survived. Woohoo! Awesome sauce. Uh, <laughs> maybe she was up too late last night. Because wasn't she on Nix's uh, live again? She says, hola. Like, hello, we're live. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I don't know. Like, these are not, like, 100% like perfect because I'm not the best. We're not, like, the best. So we only have one printer. 
but I think they turn out pretty good. Other than that one flaw there in the corner, um, it happens every single time, same flaw in every single tray, but you're covering it up with your pens and your wax and your spoon <laughs> and your tweezers and you put them all on the tray and it looks so pretty and it sits on your desk. So yeah, that is what I've been up to. I haven't been up to very much of anything. I haven't gotten far on my painting. Um, my my uh, my goal is to diamond paint all through the eclipse tomorrow. So I don't look out the window. I don't do anything. I'm just going to huddle here in my craft room with the blinds closed, the window, the curtains closed, and I'm just going to diamond paint. That is my goal. That is what I want to do. So that is what I'm going to do. She was on Nix's last night. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how she rolls. I see how she rolls. And soon you will be by them in Lizzie's future store. <laughs> she notice how she's like laughing. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. She's laughing at me because she knows that's not gonna happen. Oh Tammy, I feel your pain. I have back pain like all the time all the time I feel your pain um this new machine at work is so stupid let's calm down <laughs> the machine at work to change the role of Polly I have to literally kneel on the floor so I have to get like a box to use as like a knee pad and I put it on the floor because I am putting my my legs on a concrete cold floor and to change the poly and it's like oh my gosh like you feel how old you are when it's like you have to pull yourself up with the machine oh it's just just horrible yes yeah, so I heard I thought I saw saw something on Facebook about that. I'm so sorry for your loss. Susan M., I pray for you and your family in this hard time. I had a bad migraine all day. Oh, they suck too. I hate migraines. Um, I felt kind of dizzy at work a couple times today. And I don't know if it's because, like, my sugar's are off or what? Like, is she being funny or what? I'm texting now, as you can hear. She's been fashionably late. My heart. Everybody's praying for you, uh, Susan. I hope. I know how hard and difficult it is. I lost my brother as well. So I feel your pain. I know what it's like. I say time heals, but it doesn't always go away. And you always grieve like for anybody that you have lost. So yeah. I don't know where I don't know where she is, but yeah. So she missed me thanking her for her pens. It's so pretty, 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 pretty. I haven't actually used it yet. I'm going to be honest. What diamond painting are you working on for the event? Okay, I'll show you because it might be up here. Yeah, it is. So I'm working on this one from Oraloa. And it's called, um, Tammy looked it up for me, and it's called, called um, either Girl Butterfly or Daughter of Butterfly, something like that, to that effect in French. Um, yeah, I thought it reminded me of Tia, 
and Tia with all her butterflies in her hair. So I thought that was like so suiting. What is she saying now? Yes, T, I sent you the invite. <sighs> like, honestly. Now she's trying to see, see how she rolls. Now she's trying to pin it on me that I did not send her an invite to the live. Yep, that's what she's doing. She's trying to blame it on me. Trying to blame it on me. Yes, I went to Harvey's tonight for dinner because I knew I was going live and I didn't feel like making anything. If you're American, you won't know what Harvey's is. <laughs> so <laughs> this is Harvey's. It's like a burger joint here in Canada. Canada. What is she doing? What is she doing? Now she's saying it didn't show up in her end, but I sent it yesterday. Yesterday, when I actually uploaded the live before the day. <laughs> Sometimes that's hard when I'm working to do, but I'm pretty sure I did it last night, and then I sent her the link. But she was probably too busy on Nexus Live that she totally ignored my invite. Okay, that's okay. She's still not here, so we'll go on. So, I like that one. It is so cute. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Oh, the painting maybe. Um, yeah, I love it too. That is Tia. That is Tia. I'm sorry, you. Can you? Can you refresh the memory on where we post so we can use uh, the start one? Um, yeah, it's on. It's on Pen Pals. It's not on my. It's not on my Facebook group. This is all done on Tia's Facebook group. Um, Pen Pal, no Pal Pal Pens and Friends. I always want to say Pen first, and she always gets mad at me. It's uh, Palm Pal Pens and Friends. Ah, say that a hundred times twice. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not good at French, but yeah. I love Oraloa and oh, Jesus, I'm snoring again. I told him I was going live, but he continues to snore on the couch. Uh, yeah, so Susan put the link up for Tia's page where you can post. Um, I'm pretty sure if you look up, it's a video of Tia talking, and then she's probably going to have a post for this week's. And she's still not here. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that girl. But, uh, yeah, right now I'm working on this part here of her bosom with the flower, flowery thing. The butterfly kind of thingy on her dress. That is what I'm working on right now. So, as you can see, I haven't gone very far. Oh, I did. I've done all of this down here up until here. So yeah, I haven't done very far. She's fired. Yeah, Susan's fired because, okay, I'm gonna call out Susan. So I did a kid up video and yes, 
I shouldn't have put it on top of the canvas that has plastic that creates static. Yeah, I get it. Whatever. I had lots of static. Things were flying. I was getting annoyed. And then I stopped the video. And then I came back when it was all done. Um, that's what happens with me and kid ups. Like, I start to get annoyed with the static drills. And then I'm like, I got to quit because, like, there's going to be cursing involved. There's going to be, like, me, like, getting mad. If not, like, I myself and the drills. So just take myself out of the situation. <laughs> I will pause. And it was still, it was already like 49 minutes long. And I think I only did like three or four colors. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Um, I don't even know now how far I went. But yeah, that's me and my kid, my kidding up. Ooh, Lee's in the house. Lee's in the house. I hope he brings all the snacks today. Oh, good thing he stopped the video in such a mess. And then she's like, oh, you kind of, my eyes were twitching watching you. You reminded me of someone. I'm like, Ugh, rude, because I know who she's talking about. And I'm like, rude. So, yeah, she got me. She got me there. So yeah, that was my fiasco kit up. So if you want to see me struggle with static, go watch that video. Because I did. It was fun though. What was fun? Watching me, <laughs> watching me fight with the static. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many pretty purples in this, in this uh, canvas. It's like so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. I think Tia's ditching me. So sad. He's really snoring out. Clem! You know me? Yeah, you're snoring on the live. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness, he says. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, let's see, are you adding bling to that painting? Oh, bling it up. You would ask that question, wouldn't you? Um, honestly, I thought about it and I went through, like, I have some crystals. I don't have too much um, blingy stuff, but I do have some crystals. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just do some of these purples with some crystals. And then I decided nah i think i'm just gonna leave it the way it is but they, there isn't very many a b's like this whole ah, this whole row is a b's okay but as you can see there's not much a b's in this whole painting which was kind of like a little bit depressing because i thought oh you know you could really bling this up lots but they chose not to so It'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Anyway, so if that answers your question, not really. And look who's in the house finally. Did you show them the picture? The picture of what? The, the, the Listen. I sent it to you twice. I can't help it if you are too busy on other lives that you can't even bother with my life. I wasn't on another live. On I Saturday you were. I sent you a picture. Saturday you were. That does not have anything to do. Yeah, because I sent it to you on Saturday night. Oh, no wonder it didn't come through. It must not have downloaded. I just sent you a picture to show you that I didn't get it. That's why mm -hmm. I sent it. Like, really? Did she send it? It's not showing over here. So I'm, I'm so glad that you thought of me today to send me the hello, I'm live. You didn't say good morning. How you doing? 
missed you, Tia. Nothing. Where is the love, Lizzie? Where is the love? Um, Elisa sent it to you early. You sent it to me like 10 seconds before the live starts. I feel it is. Boom. It's your live. That's right. That's how we roll sometimes on Wednesday. Well, then I guess next time we're going to have to send it to you like five minutes too. Okay. Well, let's go. Pitter patter. Get out. Yeah, that's it. That's right. That means I'm there. Hi, Rochelle. How are you? Look at everybody. Melinda's here. Hi, Melinda. Susan, now Susan's blaming it on me. Hi, Melanie. That's right. Susan is always on my side because she understands. Yep. I had no idea. And I sent her the text. She said, hello. I sent her one right back that said, hola, like I'm waiting on her. Because <laughs> I'm like, hello, like, where are and you? And I'm like, well. It was being sarcastic. Hello, where are you? I wasn't being sarcastic, though. I was like I being was. friendly. I'm like, hello, hola. <laughs> She's oh like, gosh, I'm live. I'm like, okay, I didn't get the invite. <laughs> and then I sent her the the screenshot of the last conversation we had, no invite, and then this current conversation. So oh. I sent it to you me. after that conversation. You know what, Shirley? You're just mean. <laughs> it's Laverne to you. <laughs> Did you miss me today? Yes. I showed everybody my beautiful pens. You missed it. They came. They Boy, they charging them. a lot. Them was some beautiful pens. <laughs> oh, them. yeah. They charged quite a bit for when these days. come to these shipments. Oh, uh, Nix was saying mm. that last night. But yes, international. We love oh, our international goodness. customers because it's costing more to ship. Than to make a couple of the products and send the products US. So, um, well, whew. if you I'm, didn't have the lady say it was a hundred dollar purchase, I wouldn't have had to pay customs on it. I don't know why she said that. It was supposed to be, I put zero, you know, it was cheap. I put down it's worth zero. And she said, we can't do that. It's It's got to be one or at least a minimum of a dollar i'm like okay we'll put down the minimum of a dollar and somehow or another her one dot zero zero turns into one zero zero and lizzie ends up having to pay extra on top of the they charge me a car note and she ends up having to pay extra for when it came out of customs you better not but, be charged for the one i sent you I bet you I'm going to get yes. charged because Lizzie declares her box $10. I'm like, why did you declare $10? <laughs> now they're going to charge me four grand. You know, they can't see. <laughs> they better not. But so that say. this doesn't happen to any of our winners, Lizzie is my Canadian hub and I am her U.S. hub. So when she ships, Within the to the US, it's coming to me, all of her <laughs> items. And then I'm sending it out. That way nobody gets, you know, impacted in the same. Well, let's like see I, if they, let's see if they made it in one piece because Clem packaged it. <laughs> well, I can't wait to get the package nonetheless and show right. you guys all of the giveaway items. So today is the last day of week one. If you guys have not Woo done so already. Make sure you go to the Facebook page, Palm Pal Pens and Friends, and make sure you post your startup pick. And then, obviously, your um, you can start putting up your progress picks. Tonight, late tonight, early tomorrow, I do the week one um, video where we do the wheel, and you guys will get to see the winner of the first week's. Um, this is actually the, you know, collab winner. So um, every week also in our lives, there'll be a winner. Um, and then there is also a fourth chance to win. If you watch back my um, video on Wednesdays, if you're not able to watch it during the live, please watch it after. Hit the hashtag replay and answer one of the questions that we pose during the live. What I do is a YouTube comment picker 
and I'd pick a fourth winner for the week. So again, there is a week, uh, a weekly winner in each of our lives. Our Facebook winner uh, for participating in the collab, you go on the wheel. Yay! And then a fourth chance to win if you watch back my hashtag replay and answer a question that we posed during the live. So thank you very much for all of your support. You know, this has been just a great year when it comes to me feeling like a part of the Diamond Painting family and the community. There's some trays that'll be given away tonight on Lizzie's live. One tray for a lucky person. One tray each week. So there we go. Yay. On the bed, you guys see um, by our, our sponsored um, featured art, I'm to say artist here, by our sponsored uh, small business, So Blingy. They are going to be one item per week. And those are um, the pin bags and accessories bag. It is a uh, tote bag. Um, and then the fourth item is going to be a uh, laptop cover. Um, yes, those items are designed for your travels. Take your diamond painting and your accessories with you when you travel. Um, so I love that concept. I love the pin bag where you can put several pins in the slot and roll it up. Take your favorite diamond painting pins with you, especially some of the Pom Pow pen pins. <laughs> so you are going to get a, um, a pen with each of the collab items. Um, and then I'm giving away as my giveaway items on on my life a pump a pin. So hopefully you guys are coming out and supporting. Having so, a to get the big prize, let me get this straight. To get the big prizes, they have to enter on the Facebook page, right? What prize is the big prize? Like that stuff you have there. You know, the big the item. That's the, yeah, mm -hmm. that's the Facebook pump. I mean, um, on Palm Pow pins and friends. That's, you know, the items that they win on those, um, like the wheel and things. They'll win one of those. Um, we also have our tablets coming in. The tablets will be combined as well. So you may win, I'm sorry, the tablet holders, the butterflies. I can't wait to get mine. So I, I, I don't have, like this I have one. That okay. I we wanted I wanted to do those colors for this club because you know spring rainbowy. But talk about the rainbow. What happened, what happened was it was not working really good, so we finally got it to work. And when Clem went to take it off, it doesn't he break it? So we finally got one of them to work rainbow. again, and the he new, broke. The new tablet holders, again, they'll be either a pen or a tablet holder, but they um, they match the pen. So they have cream in them. I can't wait, but they really match they're, the cream. They're glow in the pen. dark ones that I sent. Glow in the dark ones. And uh, yeah, you can even put your pen on it. 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 Lie your pen across it. It could hold your pen too. I didn't know that. I've never used it that way. Oh, that is really neat. Look, it, it, it's a multi purpose. <laughs> I like, I'm I like actually them. using mine right now to hold my tablet. See, I that's what I used to have my um, my link, my uh, what's my collar on? This is not a tablet though, this it's an actual LCD screen that I'm looking at, and it's connected to my laptop. I used to keep my LCD screen on here, it's huge, too, it's like 22 inches. And um, once I got an actual holder for it, I can now use my tablet to hold my tablet or other things. So I appreciate that. So I have to look up like, hi, how are you? So I'm looking up into the, the screen just to say hi. Let me see. Captured by Radiance is in the house. If you have never heard of Captured by Radiance, they are a diamond painting company. Love, love, love them. Super awesome. Hi, honey bunny. She says, I need my butterfly to. I am trying to bribe Livesey, but I haven't heard from her. 
Uh, so how is uh, here? Don't Sophie. you worry, J. Rob. You will get a butterfly. Don't you worry. Send my send my sister a butterfly. She can get home with the nephew. You might even get one of these. The only deal is you got to show them on your channel. <laughs> well, that's nice. There you go. <laughs> um, Susan said that she was fired. You fired Susan? Yeah, I fired her in one of my comments in my video because she was being right rude to me. Yeah. Melanie says if it's declared twenty dollars and under, you don't pay extra coming in Canada. The woman should have put one with no zeros. I'm pretty sure. Should have said five dollars at least or ten dollars. It would have made a little bit more sense. I said zero, and Tia's not fired. Lizzie, oh, that's hurtful, Susan. I had your back. I thought we were on the same page. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, how was your week this week? Terrible. What happened? Tia, I have to actually get up in the morning, get dressed, get in the car. And there was frost on the car this morning. Drive to work. Well, first I have to go to Timmy's and get a coffee. You and Drive to work. Tim Hortons. You Coffee. and Timmy. I need y'all to break up. Everything bad happens when you go there. Go to work and stand on my feet, my two little feet, for 12. Do you see this? 12 hours. But you just hit a goal. You hit eight years with the company. You, you're almost line leader. You do a good job when you, you know, take over for vacations. That well, today she called in sick. So guess who had to run the line? Look at that. You are really reliable. I'm tired. Because uh, now I got a kneel on the ground. Like these knees aren't very reliable anymore. <laughs> not the knees. Not the knee. Yeah. Could you Ooh. kneel down and change Polly and then get back up again? Mm -mm. Not unless they pay me. Not unless they pay me. These knees don't get paid to do all of that. So you got to look up the job description. When I took mine, that was the first thing that me and Rebecca were looking for. A job where my knees are not needed. And we was looking. <laughs> Can you believe that it has been five years since Rebecca helped me <laughs> get a job and get back employed? I went to the first retreat, unemployed, y'all. That's how much I wanted to see everybody. I couldn't wait. <laughs> that's I was, what I said I, at work. Said, <laughs> that's what I said. j was funny. <laughs> that's what I said at work. <laughs> I uh, oh. ain't getting on my knees tonight anymore. I'm done. <laughs> Honey Bunny, you read her mind. <laughs> <laughs> I did see it at work in the old life. <laughs> yep, I can hear that conversation now. Poor, she dogs my buddy Clem out, guys. You ought to hear how much fun we have behind the scenes. I get on her, she yell at him. He come, I come to his rescue and he says, thank you, Tia. We could double team her all we like. She just disregards me. They gang up on me. She disregards me and she's still mean to him. She's so mean to him. Why are you so mean? Yell at him for snoring during the live. Don't do him like that. He's snoring out there. He's tired. He should he's be. Cold. He work hard. He stand on his two little feet. And then no, he sits him. on his butt on a forklift all day. He come to him and ask him to help with something. He got to kneel down and use his little itty bitty knees. The poor man, they overwork him. He's on a forklift all day. Just joking. <laughs> Hi, Janae. How are you today? <laughs> Janae, we're making Janae pee her pants over there. Over there in Manitoba. Do you still got snow in Manitoba? We don't hear. <laughs> Tomorrow, don't forget. 
Don't go outside unless you wear those glasses. Oh, I won't be going outside tomorrow. Me either. I said I'm hiding in my craft room. If you are somewhere where they say you can see the um, eclipse, just be careful. I have never, in any time that it has come through our path, I've never had a desire to just look at it. 1979. How old were you in 1979? That was the last one. 1979. I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I'll tell you, I was just a little girl. And I remember that because I was at my grandparents' house and they had all the blinds closed. They said, you can't look out. But of course, Liz is going to go look out because she wanted to know what all the fuss was about. But I didn't see nothing. Um, yeah, I'm still not going to answer that for fear it may incriminate me. But I know I was older than you. I, you know, I was using my uh, telekinesis. Mm-hmm. I just remember the last one. My net was one in 1979. Wow. Wow, well, wow, wow. Has I, um, I guess Niagara Falls has claimed a state of emergency because uh, I guess it's going to be at the peak in Niagara Falls where Alyssa is. So she says that People are getting mad because the hotels like are all booked and they're kicking out the homeless people out of the hotels to make room for other people to come in. I'm like, they ain't sending those poor homeless people outside with no classes on, are they? Like, what the heck? So, yeah, I remember I'm 29. I am. You don't think I am 29? <laughs> I know I got some work to do, but you know, um, so, one of these days I'm going to graduate to 30. I'm just not there yet. You know, I'm not there yet. Well, just one day. She was I'm born tired. in 1978. I was born in 1973. One million people are expected to be in Niagara Falls. Good thing I ain't going to be there. Oh. I just I never had a desire. But I mean, like I said, I was little. And I was like, everybody was talking about it. It was everywhere. And I'm like, I didn't even go outside at that point. I had, my playing days was pretty much coming to an end where I would be inside. At that point, I'm watching TV. Or, um, this is going to definitely age me a little, but I had a little Commodore 64. It was one of the first ones um, coming off the lot. I'm trying to remember when I get it. I get it 78, 79, 80. I can't remember. But I remember around that time I started flocking inside. I had my little. I, thought I don't I was think be, there was a Commodore 64 in 1979, was there? I don't remember when it came. I just know it came out when I was around that era, you know, somewhere around. I'm, I'm trying not to get my age. We, we had the Atari. I had one of those. Uh, I remember sure did. my sister oh, yeah, walking to consumers distributed. Oh, yeah, I'm way too early. That was that came out in uh, 82. So what was I doing? And hmm, I just remember I had no desire to go outside. I know, were you in high school then? I'm not going to say. But no. <laughs> I don't believe I was in high school yet. Uh, oh, okay, we're in grade eight. We're in Last grade eight. three, four. I was in kindergarten or junior kindergarten, one or the other. I heard the weather is going to be bad, perhaps spoiling the fun for some. I'll be working. She works all the time. She's Who's 80s. working? She didn't come out in the 80s. So this would have had to have been earlier than that. What was I doing? I'm pretty sure by the time I developed a crush on John Tavolta, which I know was in 75. In 1975, you grew a crush on him? Yeah, that was the year I, I know because my parents would not let me live it down. Apparently, 
I was watching 1975, him on TV. I was one years old. No, I was two years old. Okay. I wasn't crushing on no John Travolta. Well, I don't know what's wrong with you. He was so, uh, uh, I said, oh, he is coot. He is so coot, my new boyfriend. So. Uh, right when he came out of the womb, right? Right when he came out. Yeah, yep, right. That was before I came out the womb. I was imagined at that point. I'm in Texas. It's and it supposed, supposed to be cloudy and rainy here, too. So who knows if they'll even see it? Wouldn't that yeah. be a bummer if you're yeah. one of the million people that are your walls and you don't even see it? Janae, that's the problem with trying to lie about your age. You date yourself all the time. You say the wrong thing, you slip up and date yourself. Um, Sue Layton is really good at almost catching me. Almost catching me. You um, can't, you shouldn't do it with someone you're like trying to date because then, then they're gonna. I don't even tell them. And when they keep asking, I'd be like, why? What you need to know for? Just know I'm old enough to date because I got a kid and we're good. But I get that question all the time but how old are you? But how old do I look? I feel 29. I'll be lying when I say that too, because I really don't. My knees, girl, I'm over here popping popcorn with these knees. That's all I can say. I can hear, I can hear my shoulder cracking. Mm. When I'm rolling it, I can feel it cracking. Yeah, it's hard. It's horrible. You know, it's horrible. It's horrible when getting old. I wouldn't say old. I would say getting seasoned. Okay. Fire Country this week. Did you watch it yet? No, but go ahead with the spoilers. I appreciate spoilers. So let's get started with what did you watch this week? It was super sad. You got to watch it. Super wow. sad, emotional episode. That's all what I'm going to say. What was the premise of the um, episode? The okay, remember last episode. Okay, this is before this episode. He gets hurt in the explosion yeah. and they send him off in the ambulance and the ambulance crash. Yes. Okay. So this week's episode is super sad. Is that you trying not to give a um, sport like, you know, it's just super sad. You, you didn't get fill in any. Somebody dies. Well, I'm assuming since you said that. Okay. Um, we didn't have no plot but of death. Somebody just died and there was no storyline around it. No. The crash. This the storyline. Okay. All right. Well, it's um a tornado. A fire tornado. I've never heard of such a thing. Is there such a thing as a fire tornado? I've never heard of such a thing in my life. Is this made so, up in areas where, you know, fires, especially like when there's open range. So like Montana, Nebraska, Oklahoma, you know, a lot of those areas, um, California up near their redwoods and stuff, they're flat. And when that breeze comes through, it can carry. I don't know about a fire tornado because I've never heard of all the terms. But as I indicated to you before, I am licensed for catastrophe. I took the uh, catastrophe license so that if the world breaks out, I'm licensed to at least be kept on and keep a job. So I took the 620 and the 720 series. I will be keeping that part of my license up, but often they do send adjusters out to these areas to adjust you know, fires, tornadoes, floods and earthquakes so we can be sent out to adjust those types of catastrophes um unfortunately you know when we pull up these claims and things like that yeah there, there could be some increases um in your premium you know but we need y'all to go ahead on and pay that because tia still need to have a job and still need to get paid sorry um but yeah that <laughs> That, that is why we have the catastrophe adjusters and, you know, insurance claims and things. Um, floods, same thing. If you live in an area like Florida, uh, Louisiana, down on the peninsula or something, you know, those are um, the types of catastrophes that you could, you know, be in, that you can anticipate. 
flooding. Um, if you're in an area where there's, you know, like the, uh, what do they call it, the pan handle where they have a lot of those tornadoes and things, if you live in that area, yeah. How are you going to run with those knees from the fire if they send you out to you? I'm hoping the fire and the catastrophe will be at bay if I get sent out. I'm hoping I probably, that I probably burn alive. I'm not going to be like... It burns a lot, but, you know, thank goodness I don't have to put it out. I usually am around once, you know, you see smoke and stuff coming up out of the ground. And I got to put on the hazmat you know, shoes and mask and everything, and then start walking. Can you lift that up for me? I, I'm probably the person that would have to bend down and lift it up also, but it sounds good to make it sound like I would have an assistant there, somebody to, whose job it would be to lift up the debris and things. The fireman will save Tia, hunk a hunk. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Don't start a fire, Tia. Don't fight. Don't I have not fire. had a fire um, emergency in a couple of years. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Maybe it's time. I'm living in a new place. Oh, they probably put me out. I better be careful. <laughs> uh, Melinda wants to know. She says, I saw it. Is it cake, too? So, have, have you seen that? Is it cake? That is really neat. I like to really shout out my boy, Clem. I asked for those for the collab. He came through. They had a broken down 3D printer. And he tinkered and tinkered until he fixed it. And he got us those tablet holders. So I would love to shout out Clem, the other half of CNL Creations, for coming through. I don't even want to say clutch. He came through. He got them done by our next call. He was like, how many of those do you want? I already got six printed. I'm like, wait, what? I didn't even know that the 3D printer had been fixed. So let's shout out to him and thank him. Then he went on to make the other trays, the pen trays, where you'll be able to you know, put your pen on. You can put your uh, odds and ends tips on. It'll hold a few items. Um, and you can put it right on your diamond painting while you're working. So he went on to make those after that. Well, hello. How are you today? She yeah. still is giving me back. She don't ever look me directly in the or Maybe. I don't know. Well, you don't ever look me directly in the face. Hello. How you doing? You don't care. All right. I tried. Nearly scratched it again. Fire world A, fire world or fire devil, sometimes referred to as a fire tornado. It's a whirlwind induced by a fire and often, at least partially, composed of flame or ash. Wow. These didn't wow. work. That They're... is amazing. And Robin says, I don't know if anybody watches Wind Calls the Heart, but the new season starts tonight. That is a show that comes on um, Hallmark Channel. So if you guys watch Hallmark, tonight is going to be a great night to tune in. Um, there is a, a show called Wind Calls the Heart. That is the show that, um, what's the lady that was on um, Full House? She was on that show. And then obviously after she went to jail for the preschool scheme that she was going to run. And she was running this big preschool scam where they pay to try and get their little ones into the school. I thought that's what you did if you had oh, money. She in that show? She's not anymore. So she lost the show and went to jail. And then when she got out, she, I think they went, she went back to Fuller House or something. I can't remember, but she never came on the show. So hmm. there we go. But that's, that's starting tonight when calls the heart. Um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes these shows, like I, I never watched the show. I watched the trailers and the previews enough that I was able to keep up. Looks like one of the ladies chose one guy and her and that guy are no longer together. So now she's going to try and go back this season and try. Yeah, and but wasn't she, wasn't she married before to another Mountie? That's what I was just talking about. I think it looked like she, she chose one Mountie. I can't remember 
but it was bef between. See, I don't remember. Weird. This is weird. Like, did he die? Did, I don't know. So, Robin, make sure you start typing and answer our questions. See, we, we don't even watch the show. We just, we know enough from the show. I, I watch it now and she's like juggling two guys and I'm like, what happened? I know to she the told first one. And now it looks like she's she coming back. From she the first the one. Mm -hmm. So if so you I'm... watch, if you watch When Calls the Heart, the Mountie that she was married to, that he did die. Wow. She started dating another guy a couple years later, but she really has a torch for the current mount. The current Mountie. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, I don't watch the show and I knew that she had married the other guy and now it looks like she's coming back to flirt with the new one, the other uh, the other guy. So we'll see. You know, obviously. Um, it's from it's a historic romance. Um, I can't I don't remember the year or the era, but it's that definitely before cars. So if you guys are interested in other um, shows that get, you know just give you a different historic uh, realm to to engage in and to enjoy. That's definitely one. Um, you guys all know Bridgerton uh, season three is coming up. I had a couple people asking me about that behind the scenes. So if you are into historical romance and things, and you don't mind a little knee tingle, that means it's going to be some extra romantical scenes. Uh, outside of what they show How on Hallmark. Know? Huh? How do you know that there is? Season three? Everybody knows season three coming up. It's starting, I think, in May. I know it's coming up, but how do you know it's going to be juicy? Season one was the best. Because Sh Shonda Rhimes writes There's for it. She's got to have her own uh, juice in there. There's a lot of sex in season one. Well, that's what I meant by, you know, the tingle and things. I'm trying to say it. And then, you know, I'll say it right out. S E X sex. This girl. Sex. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. Oh my gosh. And now y'all see when I tell y'all behind the scenes who Lizzie is, y'all don't believe me. So <laughs> she corrupts me. <laughs> Uh, Melinda says, I like the queen better than Bridgerton. I like the queen also. Oh, that one had a little bit of sex, didn't it? I, didn't I like it? it. I like how. I like um, that one. Too. You know, I like, I just like to see how the relationship ended up. I know, actually like, thought it was like the next season of Bridgerton when it came out, but it wasn't even had anything to do with it. Well, I'm hoping season three. This is the season that a lot of people couldn't wait for. If you are a fan of the book series, you know, so we'll see. I know there's a little controversy about number two. Season number two, it didn't directly follow the book. And they didn't, I personally did not like how long she waited to break this, this couple up. You don't wait till I'm down the aisle about to say I do. If there's going to be some kind of flopping. I really don't remember. I really and don't remember what coming happened. Coming down the aisle and she noticed a look or something between them. That's too close. That's too cool. Break up two weeks before, but don't break up after she, you know, and so we all need to leave now for Lizzie. We all need to leave. Where are you going? Leave for what? Where are you going, Tammy? Don't leave. Stay right here. Have some fun with us. We want to continue the fun, please. Party praise. Don't leave us. Lizzie, why are you making everybody leave? What'd you do? Listen, I didn't make nobody leave. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing, though. And that's laughter. You're fired, Lizzie. Um, you're rehired, Susan. It's just me and you to the end. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> I have to do the giveaway. Where is the next snack table now? The next snack table is going to be Wednesday Let's night do that on my now. channel. Drum roll, please. Let's see if I do that. What? We're gonna give one of these trays away. Right now. 
If I can do it. She, uh, I know, Tammy. She does, doesn't she? she? After dogging them out all week. Did you see what Tammy said? Well, while you're okay, doing can you that. Can you see that? Can you see that screen? <laughs> There's no screen coming up. Please don't take hey, the next that's minutes the word. to figure it out. Are you kidding me? I just told you it was not coming up. You didn't believe I me. Did she... Don't take the next 12 minutes to figure it out. There we go. Now it's coming. Ah! If you guys can see that word for today's participation in watching the collab and having a little fun with us. Am I still broke? You can pick one of these. Am I broke? This one, that one's my favorite, so I would pick that one. This one, it's got a different color on the back. This one, this one, it's got that color on the back. And then a green, and then a lighter green, green, lighter green. That is all of the grays for today. Is that okay? Are you talking to me, babe? Yeah. Are you okay over there? With your I butterfly am. Someone left? said I was frozen, so I'm trying to wait till I unfreeze. No, I you're not frozen. So much, I don't I'm think you're frozen. frozen. So, what do you think about my hair? Do you like the color? Oh, you got your hair dyed. I didn't even realize it. I'm sorry. That's that's the worst when somebody does it. No. It, you look beautiful. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. My apologies. Thank you, Dan Time. We try. We try. But this is us behind the scenes, too. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> so needed this today. So, yeah. For reals. You For are real. behind the scene, Rhonda. This Lizzie is so crazy. Oh my gosh. She's so crazy. I don't, I don't strip tease or nothing like that. No. no. Hi, Sue. How are you? All righty yeah. then. Let's do this. Wait, Sue I'm just came in. If she wants a chance to win, show the trays again. Sue has been here this whole time. Where have you been? Okay, well, she's been I here just, the whole time. Oh, she she already hashtag spring. Okay, oh, my apologies. More apologies. You're getting better. That's good. That? I know that you're unwell and that you are hit with the big C. Hopefully, you're getting stronger. Hugs, love you. Boy, there's some kind of delay on your screen. That is not fair. <laughs> Melanie, aren't you in France? Melanie. Melanie. I don't know where she's from. Lizzie Frozen. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, Melanie. Where did you Thank stay? You. Um She's, oh, she lives in Canada. She lives in Canada. Ha <laughs> ha, even better. Love it. Look at you. Which one do you want? Which color? Like a green and a green. You do know your screen froze up. This you is a green and kind of a yellow. The rest of the And then this one's pretty much all the same, but this is my favorite color. Which one do you want? And I'll put your name on it. Well, I won't literally put your name on it. Green and green. She wants the green and green one. So this one, green, green and green, that one. That's the one she wants. 
have to put a sticky note on it. So I know it's hers. Did you fill out my Google form? Please fill out my Google form so I can get your address so I can mail this out. She's from Ontario. Where from Ontario are you from? All right, I've just put you down um, in our winnings. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Kingston, well, it's still very far from me. What am I doing, Liz? Kingston's still far from me. Very far. That's like a five hour drive. Pretty far. Oh, that's not too far. Go for a visit. Have a mini retreat. Well, if it's captured by Radiance here, if we ever get our asses in gear, she can is. Maybe do a retreat. What you doing, Janae? For all that's a good idea. I don't know. Can you I don't know. retreat? Oh, she left. She made a left. She was just here. Look at Susan Look working so hard is. tonight. How far are you from Prince Edward Island? Look at Sue. Yeah, Lee, I think you're right. Far? Earlier when you were, I thought you were referring to me. But it's you, Lizzie. You keep freezing. I do? Yeah. You are stuttering. Like, when the wheel or the, the thing was going, it stopped on one Prince, end. Prince Edward. Yeah, how far are you from Oh my, that's really bad. What? Nothing. So for next okay, week. Is it better now? A little bit. I think it's that's Not much there. Next week, what? So next. Wednesday, I'm gonna be super tired, tired, and I don't, I cannot, I cannot promise what will come out of my mouth because I'm gonna be tired because I worked a 12 hour shift. Huh? I said, you see how you're doing me already? What? Sue, so, there's been a problem with the capture by radiance. Something was wrong with the canvases. The manufacturers had to fix it. They're supposed to be here by April 15th. So next week. Hopefully they're here because I'm waiting to. Did you tell your audience why you picked your, um, your current painting? Yeah, I told them because it looks like you. Butterflies. In it does hair. look like you. I need to get butterflies. Why didn't you send me some butterflies in the mail? Yeah, for $30, I'll send you some some butterflies that cost five. Okay, that makes so much sense to me. You could have put it in the thing since you charged $100 for it anyways. You might as well have thrown a couple of butterflies in there. I did not charge $100. I, I, I got the pictures that you sent me. I'm going to, the next package I sent out, I'm going to ask them try and get the $27 back. What do you want me to do with it when it come back if I if I can poke my lip out? It's a, it's the it was the Canadian customs I did that. And well, nothing the Canadian customs owe us money. They owe us money. I, that box it was all not squished and squashed. I'm like I hope this is okay inside. Like they gave me like this crumpled old package. Oh, you owe me twenty $27 for this crumpled up package. Was, um, that's me. Was, um, Susan's stuff okay? Yeah. It made it. They crumbled the package for real? For real. For real. I know there's a problem, but. 
Yeah. That is horrible. Yeah. All right, Lizzie's live. But anyways, I think it's time to say our fair dues and our goodbyes. And now you're frozen. I'm not frozen. Oh, okay. It's your computer. Something's wrong. I'm doing the worm. Worm, worm. Worm. Can mm -hmm. you guys see me doing the worm or do I look like I'm stuttering with it? It's the eclipse. I blame it on the eclipse. Ooh, that's a good one. Everyone's going to be able to use that over the next few weeks. I'm going to steal that. Oh, I didn't feel like it. Not only were my knees bothering me, but the eclipse. It hit something and it just zoomed right into the knee and the hip. Mm -hmm. See? That's what we do. It's you too. See, it's you. It's you. Surely. All right. Well, we'll see you all Wednesday. Wednesday night, 9 Central, 7 Pacific. I can't wait to see you guys. Make sure when you get up Bed in the morning. Bedtime. Bedtime in Ontario. Be there, be square. <laughs> I'm always bedtime somewhere. <laughs> Make sure you guys check our Facebook page, Palm Pal Pins and Friends, first thing in the morning. Um, not only will we have the week uh, one kickoff week's uh, collab winner, but we will have also posted, or I will have also posted uh, the week, obviously we'll be entering into week two, your progress um, video, and along with the challenge question for you guys to answer when you post your week two progress. Thank you again for participating. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. Yay! <laughs> Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye.